what's up guys welcome back to this episode of how to create a loan machine now in my last tutorial i promised to cover up the javascript and um, the css there so let's quickly go into it now the first thing we want to do is to introduce this the star that introduces the javascript into the html page so this is it this is the, the tag that introduces the javascript into an html the first thing i want to do is to create a function for this stuff here the calculate so you know we have been using this in my last tutorial but we don't know what we're gonna use it for and this is it now you create a function for it the function paste this and then um, introduce the curly boxes so create a function and then um, the first thing we want to do here is to create a variable called loan okay? and for the the center the built-in function that introduces or invites the id into the javascript is document of get element by id And then we'll name this one loan because the ID name here is loan. We'll name it loan and put our dot value semicolon close. Then we'll do it for the second input, which is the interest rate, and the third one, which is the month. So, so interest rate, we just give the variable name interest rate. Do the same thing, document dot get element by id the id of this one is interest rate plus our dot value make sure you add that the variable the third one month then i think we are good to go now the next thing we might want to do is to start with the mathematics so don't be scared we are going to solve some mathematics here just simple some few mathematics so the first thing we're going to create a variable interest here what we'll first do with we'll do with um, the loan sorry it's in the bracket loan i'm going to group it loan multiply by the interest underscore rate i'll explain this after typing underscore rate divided by 0 0.01 and then come out of here close the bracket divided by months now let me explain we created a variable called interest and then um, what we did is it first of all we have to deal with the bracket remember your primary school or secondary school or high school we did uh, a lot of board mass so first of all we do bracket bracket that is for the bracket interest multiplied by like 0.01 then division next divided by the month then multiply by loan that's just a simple mathematics here the next one which is the last mass we'll be solving here is payment it's a variable called payment and open the bracket and for this open another bracket and loan divided by months then come out of the bracket plus interest which is this interest we're interested in this variable using this variable now interest then you might want to put a dot i will explain after typing fist now what this actually means is that whatever value we get you add two digit number to it that is for the kobo as in, in my own currency or for cent in, in dollar or whatever so now here what we might want to do is to like uh, the payment i will explain after typing this payment is equal to this okay to explain this now to take me a lot of time so what this actually means is it for the display of the result this has much to do with the the result that's going to be displayed how it will look like how it will come out and everything you might just want to type this and go to the next line and type document dot get element by id want to get the payment that the id here want to get this id in this html in our html we want to get this id in our html so we want the value here to display in, at this particular place so what we might want to do is we are going to use the inner.html html and um, 
and this is what we want it to display there so it's a monthly payment is equal to monthly payment is equal to n plus the payment with and it was with a semicolon and i think we are done with this and let's save this and run this now as you can see enter the amount uh oh it's not working i think um there's a mistake uh oh capitalize this f and then um, this variable here make it underscore get the variable underscore save this again and come back here and refresh so let's see how it goes let me just test 1000 naira and once i press the enter button you see we have monthly payment is equals to 1100 and this is the fist the to fist function i was talking about you see 1100 naira something like zero cobalt so this is it and then this is what we have on the javascript and this is all what we'll be needing for the javascript the next thing is we'll go for the css which is the cascading star sheet so in order to do that first of all we'll create a file just follow me and do this and we'll save the file inside the folder loan mark and um, i'll just save this here i'll name it loan style dot css i think this is okay loan style or css save this now and, uh, for the cascading style sheet link this is what we need for the link to link us to the css file here and you know, this is it link ah this is it so now we'll go into the css um, file so whatever we, we do here whatever we implement here will affect our uh, web page here the first thing we might want to do here is um, we'll just introduce all our selectors first of all we'll start the body selector and uh, working with the parameters first of all the border i want to make the border zero pieces the margin zero pieces and um, padding zero pieces as well then the next thing is the form input so on that selector i'm talking about this here the form input so i want it to affect the form and inside the form i want to affect the form inputs so here i'll just start with the background and I want the background to be f elf 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 nine seven. And the next thing is the color, and I want the color to be black. Already the default color is black, so I don't need this again. So let's just save this now and see what we're having. So once I refresh, and this is what we're having now. You see the inner color of the input is yellow. So we are good to go. Let's continue. The next thing is the margin bottom, and the margin bottom I want to be ten pieces. And for the padding, let me just quickly type this and explain. So what this means is, I want five pieces at the top, five pieces padding at the right, ten pieces padding at the bottom, twenty pieces padding at the left. So the next thing is, um, I want to make a border radius. Uh, border radius, I want to give it ten pieces for the front size. Front size is gonna be thirty pieces. I think we are done with this form input so let, let's refresh and see what we're having you see this is what we're having right now and then the center form is a little better for the center form we're talking about this here the center form so for the center form on in the background of red green blue and uh, i want to add the alpha probably the a stands for the transparency just type this and want the color to be FLF88 F -F semicolon. The next is the margin zero pieces. I think we should add zero pieces and 300. So let's set this now and run this. And this is it. So let me quickly explain this. For the transparent ash color you see here 
this is what what brought that up so what we did is we introduced the color red green blue and we said the red should be zero the green should be zero the blue should be zero and the transparency of it is 0.25 this all works together to produce it so imagine we make this nine and we save this we come back here and refresh you see it's now black but we don't want this we want the two five so let's continue next thing is the padding and for the padding i want 20 pieces the top 20 pieces right two pieces bottom and 20 pieces left so this is top right bottom left top right bottom left the next one is the border radius i'm going to give it the border radius also i'm going to give it the border radius and the border radius is in um, 20 pieces the front family elephant i like it and the next thing is um, the front size on the front size to be 20 pieces and let's save this refresh this and this is what we're having you see it's gradually changing let's do this first and finish this up now the next thing is work on the center ties what displays the result I'm talking about this the monthly payment result how it's gonna be displayed so we we'll need to work on it as well what we do we come here center is to the margin zero pieces background and the background to be f f f f nine seven padding 15 pieces all side to be 15 pieces and the border radius and i'm going to give it the border radius of, let me say border radius of 25 pieces and the font size on the font size also 25 pieces and this is a this is okay for this so once we save this and we refresh let's see what we have so once I enter, you see, it's now giving me this value. It's giving me this value. Now let's work with another selector. I want to work with the form heading one and the form heading two. So for this, I want the margin to be zero pieces. Actually, we want to make this a little bit smaller. So. For the form paragraph, I want the margin also to be zero pieces, and the form want to be zero pieces also. Now the next thing we're working with now is the mark queue. So center mark queue. For the center mark queue, oh, I want to like okay, make the font family, and the font family is gonna be agency FB not that common but I'm using it then the background white the next thing we want to do is to work with the font size the font size is 25 pieces then the margin I told you guys earlier I'm very to the margin the margin is zero pieces the pattern is gonna be 14 pieces and the next the last but not the least is the height and I want my height to be 20 20 pieces so let's refresh you see it's now short and then uh, this is what we're looking for the last thing i want to work with now is center d because i'm gonna create um, i'm gonna create a div here and we'll see what i'm gonna use it for just for some like a personalization something so i'm gonna div tag under the div tag i want to have power by tony clarus please i want you to put your name there because you created it and I want to like style it also. So for the center div, I work with the center div. The margin to be zero. Stay with it. Sorry. For the background, and the three 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 one one zero zero in semicolon, and the color color to be white, and the padding to be ten pieces. The padding ten pieces. Border radius ten pieces font size 20 pieces and the last is the display display and inline block so this is the last thing we're gonna do here and uh, we'll save this now and refresh 
sorry, this is it. But we discovered something that we don't have our, our gland yet. So I think I just wanted to make sure that that was the last thing I'll work on. So let me go to that now and work on it. For the background, we'll just introduce the background into the body. Inside our folder, we have an image folder there. If you open it, we are going to make use of this, the BD and check the extension. The extension is a um, JPG. So since we know it already and inside the folder images, we will just come back to our test editor and type images slash bd.jpg and once we save this and open our web browser, refresh. Oh, oh, we have a good looking loan machine. So let's test this. 10,000. Suppose I get a loan of 10,000 and probably I'm charged 24% interest rate. The, the month is 24. That is the duration is 24. Click the enter button. So each month they'll be deducting 516 Naira 67 Kobo for my account until this 12 months is completed. So this is a loan machine. And one more thing here is I want to introduce a symbol just it's optional anyway and we'll do the symbol percentage there so save this now come back here and refresh and you see we have the percentage sign here i think this is uh, good and it's dramatical ladies and gentlemen congratulations you finally created a loan machine thank you for watching this um, tutorial and please uh, stay connected to my channel tony claros if you like this video and if you know you've really learned something today you can click on the like button below and i always leave my subscribers and my fans with a quote and the quote for today is from mark zuckerberg and it's if you just work on stuff that you like and you are passionate about you don't have to have a master plan on how things will pay out yeah that's a quote for the day. Thank you very much and remain blessed. Bye.